Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm a marketer in Samsung's visual display division, and I'm here to talk about the 3D technology behind Samsung's smart TV lineup. In this video, we'll look at three important areas. First, we'll explore the two primary types of 3D technology, active and passive. Second, we'll explore the differences in picture quality between the two technologies using Samsung's D8000 and our competitor's leading model to understand the two. And finally, we'll explore how we can talk to shoppers in a way to help them understand and appreciate Samsung's advantage in 3D picture quality and the uncompromised 2D picture delivered by our products. So, let's get started. Before we get into specifics, let's first imagine a scenario. You're in a room in front of a window staring at a beautiful ocean vista. Now there's nothing covering the window, it's just you, the window, and the beautiful view. Now imagine there's a second window overlooking the same ocean vista. Now this time, somebody's drawn the blinds closed so you can really only see out of every other slot. Well, what's happened to your beautiful ocean view now? Well, simple as it seems, this is actually an effective model to help you understand and help your shoppers understand the differences between the two leading 3D technologies. This is the technology that LG uses in all of their 3D TVs. Now at Samsung, we're committed to delivering the best possible viewing experience, and we believe that starts with a clear, unobstructed view. That's why we chose active technology. So how can you help shoppers better understand the difference between these two technologies? Let's start with active display. Now all Samsung TVs use active display for rendering 3D images. And Samsung TVs use an advanced form of technology which handles the transmission of the images both in the panel and the glasses to create the cleanest, most accurate synchronization possible. Passive technology, on the other hand, handles all the processing in the panel itself. And to do this, LG places a pattern film over the display which acts as a filter that separates out the combined 3D image. Whereas a traditional Full HD panel can display 1920 by 1080 resolution. Because passive display technology requires you to add both images at once, you're really only getting 1920 by 540 resolution in your left eye and 1920 by 540 resolution in your right eye. It's up to the polarized glasses to separate out the two images and recreate that effect in your mind, which is what creates the half resolution 3D image. So what's the merit of active 3D over passive 3D when it comes to picture quality and resolution? Well, because active technology sends a full HD image to each eye, you're seeing 3D exactly as the content creators intended, exactly as the animators wanted, and exactly as the directors wanted. That covers resolution, but that's not all. When it comes to picture quality, active 3D technology offers a clear upper hand in 3D and 2D. That's because active technology offers deeper blacks for a more vivid picture. By comparison, images shown on a passive display actually look duller. Remember the film I mentioned earlier? The one that LG places in front of their passive displays? Well, that actually serves to dampen the brightness of the image. So to compensate for that, manufacturers pump up their backlighting to push more light through this, this film. Unfortunately, that increase in backlighting comes at a cost. The cost is compromised contrast. More important is a second problem with this film, and that's related to 2D picture quality. That's because the pattern film laid over the passive display is made up of long black lines running up and down the screen. That creates images that look duller and more jagged. To see this for yourself, just re refer back to the filter sent by HQ. Hold it up to the screen, and you can see for yourself the lines running up and down the screen. In fact, you can tell shoppers that these lines cover up 25% of passive displays. By comparison, Samsung Active 3D uses no filter. There are no lines and no obstructions. What you get is a more vivid picture quality and viewing experience in 3D and 2D. We've talked about resolution and picture quality, but there's one last critical difference you want to talk to shoppers about, and that's viewing angle. 
Samsung's approach to 3D offers a broader viewing angle, giving viewers more freedom to enjoy 3D. And because this year's glasses are powered by Bluetooth technology, viewers will have greater freedom than ever, contrary to LG's claim. So whether your viewers are tall or short, watching alone or with their family, on the edge of their seat during the big game, or kicking back with their favorite 3D blockbuster, viewers can watch what they want, how they want. Now let's consider viewing angle in passive displays. Because of the film that these TVs use, they have a very specific optimal viewing angle. Move a little bit above or below the sweet spot, and you may lose the 3D effect. You might even start feeling a little bit dizzy. Now you might have heard of LG's claim that their passive 3D glasses can be enjoyed while lying down. Well, technically it's not possible. See, with LG's passive glasses, when you tilt them more than 15 degrees, you start introducing red to the color. As well, the 3D depth information gets reversed, so it was meant to come out of the screen, they start appearing in the screen and vice versa. When you're explaining to your shoppers the difference between active and passive 3D technology, those are the three points you want to bring up. Resolution, 2D picture quality, and viewing angle. And you can bet there's one last topic that shoppers are curious to learn more about. That's 3D glasses. Samsung introduced the world's first 3D LED TV in 2010. And since then, we've spent a lot of time studying how consumers use 3D glasses. Well, the research has shown us that the weight of the glasses is a big driver in overall 3D comfort. That's why this year we work with NASA to reduce the weight of our glasses by 50%. Samsung's glasses use Bluetooth technology, so there's no flicker, no interference. In fact, automatic synchronization means they only consume power when you're wearing them. In other words, you can watch 20 to 25 movies between charges. And our wireless charger works on contact, so you just drop the glasses on the charger and they'll be all powered up, ready to go whenever you need them next. Well, that should settle the debate, but you don't have to take our word for it. Experts from around the world are reaching the same conclusion. Active 3D technology delivers a better experience than passive 3D technology, in 3D images and in 2D images. Remember, compared to passive displays, Samsung's active 3D display technology offers the perfect combination of full HD resolution in 3D, more vivid 3D and 2D picture quality, and unrestricted viewing angles. We think it all adds up to the most immersive viewing experience possible, and a smarter approach to 3D. Thanks for your time.